Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitarist, where we demo everyday gear for everyday guitarists. Today we're talking about the Jam Pedals Rattler. First of all guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate it. I love doing these videos. I have a whole bunch of really cool stuff coming out soon with Garland Effects, obviously this, a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm really backed up on because of family stuff. So please hit that stuff, it helps me out and you can see some cool videos, so I appreciate it, thanks. As always an everyday guitarist, I use sub $1,000 gear. Today I use my Ventera Series Telecaster. Uh, I use my Squire Bass and then the Jam Pedals Rattler and the DSL-100H set really clean. Today we're talking about this guy right here, the Jam Pedals Rattler. Fantastic rat style pedal. If you know anything about me, I love rat style pedals. They're probably my favorite pedal to use for a boost and to a dirty amp. And I mean, not a lot of people do that, I don't think, but I do, I love that sound. I think it's really good because it has this cool mid characteristic that not a lot of pedals have. And this is the one that's on my board. I've owned a lot of rat style pedals, the 1981 drive, the woodcutter, I've owned this, I've owned vintage rats, I've owned non-vintage rats. And this is the one that stays on my board. It's got a small footprint and it sounds great. It has tons of gain on tap, just like you'd expect from a rat. It gets really fuzzy way up top. It has tons of volume boost, which if you know anything about rats, they have a difficult time keeping up with volume. Unity is at like 2.30 or 3 o'clock on the dial normally. Tone control isn't backwards, which is nice. Uh, if you don't know anything about pedals, it's a really easy pedal to get into if you want gain. Really, it's just a fantastic sounding pedal. And if you like rats, this is what you're, you're getting a really good rat. I know that Jam has a couple other versions of it with their Jam Pedals Rattler Plus, I think is what it is, which has an LM308 and is a little more faithful recreation uh, of the original Rat. This is just their take on it, and I think it's really, really good. Um, it has tons of versatility, and no setting sounds bad on it. It's the kind of pedal that you can plug into any clean or dirty amp, and you're going to get a cool sound out of it. Generally, I love running it to a dirty amp because I think it does a really good job with those singing lead parts. I set the gain low, the level high, tone just above like, I don't know, noon, one o'clock, and it really cuts super well, and I think it works really, really great for those kind of sounds. But I mean, if you want to run it into like a clean amp and get those really fuzzy indie garage rock sounds, because that's what I did with this, because I didn't really do the whole lead boosted sound on this, um, which is totally fine too. I think it does a great job at that. I mean, this pedal looks cool, it sounds cool, and at the price point that it's at, which is what any other boutique pedal is on the market, I think it's a really, really good version of the Rat. And there's a couple other Rats I'd like to try, but at this point, this is the Rat that's on my board. Uh, I, it's on my board, and it has been since the day I got this pedal, and it is <clears throat> a fantastic, rat style clone. Like, I mean, if you want that pedal, that's what this does, and it does it really well. It sounds super cool on bass too, just like most rats do. It has this cool, like, low sub thing kind of happening almost on bass, but it's really clean. It's not like a big muff or, you know, the super fuzz or anything like that. Uh, and, and you heard it on the song, the bass sounds really cool on it. I really like how it sounds on bass. I don't play bass that often, but when I do, and I want dirty sounds, I either use this or I use a fuzz. Uh, and this kind of does the fuzzy thing too a little bit, but I use this more as the drive thing, and I think this sounds really good for that. So if you're looking for a really, really good rat clone at a good price, that looks cool, it sounds cool, has a small footprint, and just generally sounds awesome overall, I think this is a fantastic pedal to get into. And if it's your first rat, I think it's a great sounding rat for your first rat style pedal. I mean, it's difficult to beat. So if that's what you're looking for, check it out, the Jam Pedals Rattler. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love doing these. I have all sorts of cool stuff coming out. So uh, hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button and all the other junk that YouTubers tell you to do so that you can watch my videos. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later.